everyone! I am back today with another layout for a cut to you. This is also part of a YouTube hop. It is a month long YouTube hop celebrating cut to you being a business for two years. How fun is that? So I'm going to use this beautiful ballet slipper cut file and I will have a link to blog post down below. I'm going to be inking up my title. I'm just gonna use the title that comes with the cut file. I am. I grabbed Juniper Mist ink from Katherine Puller and I'm just pushing the cut file down into the ink. This is messy and fun and you're gonna make, I mean, it's gonna be a mess. So you can see I have baby wipes right there to get the ink off my fingers because my fingers are going to literally be stained navy blue. In fact, they stayed stained navy blue for like, I don't know, three, four days, something like that. But I love the look of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and back the cut file. I'm gonna use this paper, this ombre paper, to do the inside and outside of the ballet slippers and then the wood grain for all of the strings. I'm using Coco Vanilla Studios Midnight Collection for all of my uh, embellishments, I think, except for a few acetate pieces that I had in my stash that I had been saving for these specific pictures. You can see those there. They are from an older Maggie Holmes kit, but I just, I wanted to use that ballerina a lot. <laughs> so I am going to be, um, I went ahead and printed the same photo twice. Printed it once in black and white and once in color. I'm going to kind of trim up these edges. This is what is left over after I backed the ballet slippers with all of those patterned papers. While I go ahead and mat my two photos, again, they're the same photo. I'm gonna mat one in, a, in that dark navy and one in this lighter pinky peach color. I will tell you that I'm playing along as part of Cut to You's second year in business celebration. It's running all month long. You can um, check out the blog post below for all the details. Cut to you. You guys know Cut to You. If you follow me a lot, you know I'm on their design team. I love their cut files. You can order their cut files as digital files or you can have Gwen cut them for you and ship them to you, which is always a fun idea if you don't have a cutting machine. And you can get 20% off everything in the store up until July 31st, which is Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is actually um, July 30th for my U.S. peeps. Um, everything's 20% off. And the code I have for you is CELEBRATE2. And I, it's, it's C-T-Y CELEBRATE2. I will post it down below so you can copy paste it and use it okay so make sure to visit everyone who's hopping along everyone who's doing a video this month we have some amazing guest designers like Raquel Bowman, Sue Plum, Lauren Hunter, Missy Whitten, um, Amanda Jane Baldwin who is one of my dearest friends adore her and our lovely fearless leader Gwen Ruck. She started a YouTube channel too and I'll leave that link below. Uh, her YouTube channel is fabulous as well. Okay so I attached that acetate piece and the little rose just with some adhesive. Now I'm going through all of my embellishments from the Midnight Collection. There were so many beautiful soft elements in this collection that I wanted to um, add and use those hearts that are like two-toned. They're gonna to become um, something, they're gonna uh, become a focal point of embellishment that's going to be throughout the layout because I kind of just love them. I know, so these are both pictures of my niece. She takes ballet and with um, COVID-19, she's taking ballet at home through Zoom. And my brother sent me these photos of her one day before her ballet class. And check out the bun. She has the cutest little bun. Uh, and I love, love, love this photo so much. I knew immediately that Gwen had a gorgeous cut file that would be perfect. I had been eyeing it up and wondering how I could use it without ballet pictures. And because I'm a boy mom, like that's hard. But I figured it out. Not that boys can't take ballet. But my children 
are um, musicians. They not dancers. <laughs> so, um, so I was super excited when my brother sent me these photos of Jada getting ready for her ballet class. I'm going to add pop dots to some of these beautiful hearts for a little bit extra dimension. And um, I'm just adding the some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to the back of the acetate pieces. Um, this is my wet glue of choice. I get it, there's lots of places you can find it. I get mine at a cherry on top. I always have two or three bottles hanging out in my room. This one's almost empty, but no worries, I have more. Um, but it is Nuvo, N-U-V-O, Deluxe Adhesive. Adding more pop dots, adding more hearts, lots of just fun, fun things. I decided I wanted to add one of these little flares. And um, so when I pulled the flare off the packaging, it took some of the paper with it and it wasn't sticky anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue to the back of it and pop it up there at the top. Uh, I have been, I absolutely adore Coco Vanilla Studio lines. I have oodles and oodles of their product and um, they're fabulous. If you have never had any Coco Vanilla before, uh, A Cherry on Top just started selling it. You can grab it on pre-order, which is super duper fun. And they will have the three, their three latest collections in the shop uh, as soon as, you know, Australian Post and all that. So. <laughs> Adding more ombre hearts because let's face it, you can never have too many hearts. Just going through the last little bit of my embellishments, trying to decide if I need more or if I'm okay with where everything is. Of course I need more, more hearts. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of put everything away, add some things to pop dots. You can see here, I'm kind of trimming up my, <laughs> bits and pieces here. And then I'm going to clean up my desk and pull in some sequins. So these are Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins. Uh, they keep, when I purchased, I purchased the Midnight Collection from redefinedcreative.com, the secret, not secret kit club. And she always includes some exclusive sequins to match the collection. So I'm just using that same wet Nouveau Deluxe adhesive, adding a sprinkling of sequins, and that's gonna complete this layout. Thank you so, so much today. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Talk to you again, bye.